This month we're excited to introduce a new Sport Shoes tab. Update your version of Project Template app to discover 10 new options for your designs. As you know, our template library grows every month, so stay tuned to keep up with our latest updates. In this tutorial, we will create an illustration inspired by Chanel 90s roller blades. Use icons on the top right to navigate layers and opacity sliders. Choose pencil on the toolbar. Take the smallest size and open color palettes tool to access face colors. Pick a color and then use a slider below to get a shade or a tint of this color. Let's take a shade a bit darker and outline the template, making design changes if required. For the next step, create a new layer and place it under the existing layer with the outline. This way, the drawing won't get covered. Pick a solid tool and a shade to fill in the entire area of the leather. And then add a layer again, this time for the light and shadow. In order to create volume, use a watercolor brush and the color slider to get tint for the lightest areas and darker for the shadows. Place the light on the top left and the shadows towards the right, following the volume of the shape. Use a separate layer for a deep shadow inside the shoe and erase it precisely going around the borders. There is one more type of shadow that we must add with the marker. They occur on the edges where two pieces of material meet. Notice how you can take advantage of the marker's tip and place narrow or wide strokes depending on the area. This will help to separate panels and create a sense of material thickness. Next, choose a dashed line and a pen tool with the color you need to place the stitching. Use the smallest pen size for the neat effect. Here's a tip for the perforated patterns. Now choose a dotted line and use it to mark the arrangement of the pattern. Here let's draw a sequence of parallel lines. Then use eraser creating gaps, counting a certain amount of dots to achieve a desired effect. Let's leave one and erase three in between. Repeat this on all the lines and as a result you'll get an evenly distanced pattern. Then use a pen and create a bigger dots to recreate the perforated look. Now let's work on the bottom part with a black pencil. Outline the template or use it as a guide to create a new shape with your own elements. Work with straight lines or curves and use scissors tool for copying elements. To color, place a layer under this outline and take a color lighter than black to see the elements well. Use darker marker to define shape by placing shadows along the edges, defining its curves. To color the black tip of the shoe, Use watercolor brush and a technique that was used for the rest of the lighter areas. Place light gray highlights on the wheels with marker to create a sense of motion. Highlight metal elements as well with the brighter light accents using marker. Use a pen to draw small elements and an eyelets for the shoes. Make sure to use a new layer for every new element. Trace the lace on the template with marker and outline it with pen. To add some texture, pick a print within the Patterns tool library and apply it on top. If you need to add the logo, simply split screen with your Photos app. Tap to the picture to cut it of the background and drag to layers. Then use a pinch motion to adjust its placement. And here's the final illustration. Thank you for watching. We hope this tutorial was helpful and informative.